hey guys so I'm here with a more dramatic look I know a lot of my tutorials and my videos are more soft neutral looks but I wanted to kind of change it up a bit and um, since I had on the shirt that kind of had orange and purple figure why not do a real pretty smoky look with those colors in it so this is it um, I'm so obsessed with this look right now. Anyways, if you are interested in seeing how I got this look achieved, please stay tuned. Thank you so much. Alright, so I have some setting powder still under my eye because um, just in case there's a little bit of fallout, I want it to come on the powder, not on the actual foundation since my face is already done. So what you first want to do is go in with whatever type of eyeshadow base that you use. I'm going in with MAC Soft Ochre. And you just apply that all over your eyelid. And I don't go all the way up to the brow because when I do my eyebrows, I actually apply concealer so that concealer will also act as a base as well and I will run the remainder that's on my finger underneath the eye because we're going to use eyeshadow underneath the eye as well so the first color that I'm going to go in with will be a really light orange color and that's this color right here and I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush like this and just go into that color and we're going to apply this as our neutral shade so we're gonna go right above the brow bone I'm sorry right above our crease underneath the brow bone and just go in windshield wiper motions and then the next color we're going to go in with will be a really light purple color. And that will be this shade right here. And we're going to go in with a blending brush. And we're going to put that right underneath where we put that orange shade. Like that. And again, the key to eyeshadow and putting on eyeshadow is the blending part. So right now, it's still, it looks like there's two different shadows. So what you want to do is go back in with that light orange and kind of blend it out. Just take your big brush again and go back over that purple, right above that purple, not over it, but right above it, and blend that orange back in. So that way that color pops as well as that orange color. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is go in with a like a real pretty orange color. So the orange color I'm using is this color right here and it's the orange shimmery color. And you're going to take that and just apply that right on your lid. Like so. And also apply it in your tear duct area. And I don't take it all the way out because what I'm going to do is go in with a dark purple. So I'm not going to add any thing right here because that dark purple is going to go here and we're going to bring that dark purple um, all the way to about this point okay so go back in with your blending brush and then we're going to go in with the deep dark purple which is this color right here and the palettes that I'm using is from Shandy Cosmetics they're all mineral based um, eyeshadows and they do have a little bit of a fallout so again that's why I didn't um, that's why I have this eye, uh, this uh, 
powder on underneath my eye in case there was a lot of fallout then I, it would go on to that instead of my foundation I'm gonna bring these eyeshadows down eyelashes down Okay, and, and I'm going to just go back in with my, with that lighter purple that we used before and go above that purple and kind of blend those two together like that. And then I'm going back in with that orange cup or that light orange color and bringing that right above that purple and then I'm gonna just kind of blend these all together like that okay now we're gonna go back in with a wings liner and I'm using wet and wilds liquid liner And I'm using it in black, in the color black. And then you want to apply your false lashes. And the lashes I'm using is by Kiss in the number 11s. And for time's sake, I'm going to apply these off camera. And I'll be back as soon as I've applied them back on. Alright, so I've applied my lashes. Now what I'm going to do is do the bottom lash or bottom of the eyes. And what I'm just going to do is apply that dark purple color. right underneath and wing it out like how we did the top I'm gonna wing it all the way through Now we're just going to go in with mascara and apply the mascara on the top lashes to blend your lashes in with the falsies and then as well as the bottom lashes and that's what's going to give that real pop on your eyes. And I'm just using the cheap Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in black is black. And I am applying this on the falsies as well and then apply them on the bottom lashes as well so. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go in with my blending brush or my uh, powder brush, sorry, and just take off that. Take off that excess powder. And then I'm going to go in with a blush. And the blush that I'm using is from like the Chinese store or hair store. And it came in this little pack for $3.99. So I'm going to use this orange color.
Okay, and then I'm going to take this brush and go in with the Max Cheeky Bronze and apply that right on the highlight of my cheekbone. And I'm going to go in with this brush and go in with the Max Soft and Gentle. And I'm just going to apply that product right over where I put the other one. So like right kind of underneath your eye going up into your hairline a little bit. And I'm also going to apply that on the bridge of my nose. To give that a little pop. like so and I am a highlight girl so I think I'm gonna go in with some more of that and just apply that some more yes okay now I'm gonna set my face with else makeup mist and for lips I'm just going to use something real sheer, which I'm going to use Max Cream Sheen Shanghai Spice. And this is kind of a real pretty pinkish orange nude color. Like so. I'm so obsessed with this. So, this is the look. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.